Hello good people! We have another exciting tutorial for you guys today as always and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Lion Hackintosh from a USB drive. A couple months back I made a video how to make a Snow Leopard Hackintosh using a USB drive and today is the Lion Hackintosh. There are a few things we need before we can begin. The first thing you're going to need is an 8GB USB drive or an external hard drive that has a partition of at least 8GB. The second thing you're going to need is a computer running Lion as well as the Lion installer app. And the third thing you're going to need is the latest version of my hack, and you can download that from the link in the description. And now I know a problem you guys are going to run into is when you guys go looking for the Lion Installer app, it's going to be nowhere to be found because the system actually removes the Lion Installer app once it's installed. Makes perfect sense, so your thinking would be to go to the App Store and re-download it, but as you'll see, you'll go to the Purchases tab, and the Purchases tab will tell you that it is already installed. Now to fix this, all you have to do is actually hold down the option key before you click on the purchases tab. Now that isn't going to work for me here because I already have it installed for this tutorial, but just believe in me, if you hold down the option key while clicking on the purchases tab, you'll be able to re-download the Lion installer. And now that that has been taken care of, we can begin the heart of the tutorial. So what you want to do is open up my hack. It'll prompt you to enter in your administrative password. We're going to go ahead and do that. From there, it's going to ask the install type. We do want a 10.7 install disk. We're going to press OK. Then it's going to ask us the target volume that we want to run my hack on. And I have a 10 gigabyte OSX Lion partition. So that's what we're going to select as that is appropriately named. Now it's going to ask us for the location of the Lion installer. We can either have it scan the system and look for it itself, or we can browse manually. I like to browse manually because with these things, you never know what could happen. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. So that's why I choose browse manually. Now, in a little bit, it's going to ask us if we are okay with erasing everything that is on this drive. And of course, we're going to say okay once that message appears because we are okay with erasing everything on this drive because we are going to be using this drive for much, much more important things like a Lion Hackintosh. There is a message. We're going to press okay. Now, very shortly, a progress bar should appear, but do not worry if the progress bar looks like it is stalled because the progress bar only calculates off of files completely transferred. And this goes for the same deal if it looks like it is taking a long time. That's a reflection based off the speed of your device. But this should take some time, so while you guys wait, I will play you guys some nice, non-copyrighted music for your enjoyment. And once the files have been transferred, you should be prompted to install extras. Now you can either select the generic one or you can use your own. I like using the generic one. So we're going to press OK. And once it's finished, you are all set. You can now use your external drive or USB to boot off of an install line on almost any PC. Now when you do this, it should take you through the normal line configuration setup. And once that is done, I would recommend leaving your computer idle for half an hour or so so the system can finish any background tasks. And that's all there is to it. Make sure to check out the description of this video for frequently asked questions and some troubleshooting tips. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and take care. 